Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft The Magitech Wars. Now, while we I've been away, um I'm a little I'm a week later than usual uh for the plan because the idea is uh Wednesday or Thursday I will be doing uh, an hour long recording and then after that I'll do uh or I'll do a stream and then I'll do an hour long recording afterwards to release through the week. Um during the last time, um, I did do a stream, but I had it private just to keep everything up to date. But I've terraformed this entire land here, uh, completely flattened it to the second level. Uh, so this is like equal with the sea. This is one level higher. This is a little ravine that's there. And then this is a little farm that I was creating. Um, have not started on this land. Um, as you can see, I haven't really done much exploration. I've mostly been sitting here. Uh, the big reason being, uh, as you can see, I've completely upgraded the power flower here. So that I could create even more Aeternalis fuel. And I created dark matter and red matter tools and just put them in here so that I had them. I made a couple of various different things. Um just basic simple upgrades to a lot of the stuff in here um i also began i think it's this one yeah so i began working on the upper le levels uh i've just got the these three levels kind of uh layered out and this one to start actually putting magical stuff in here so i don't have to stick stuff in corners like this uh however to Today, we're going to start on uh, mine colonies. Because I've been wanting to start this since I started terra or I finished it, terraforming. Uh, however, I wanted to make sure I recorded it uh, so everybody knew I left my boat over there. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this, putting this down on one of the videos already. Um, that's the ship that's basically giving me the quote-unquote starting supplies for this town. Um, so the difference between the boat and the actual, uh, like the little camp, is that this does not spawn the NPCs right away at all. Um, so there's no NPCs, but all the supplies are on there. Uh, there's two different ways you can actually make that. Uh, I believe it's supply. Yeah, so you have the supply ship, which is what I used, or the supply camp, which is just five chests, and it'll make a little uh, thing here. Uh, let's see, the farm's over there. Where do we want to put our town hall? So this is obviously going to be a island-type civilization so the idea is that's going to be the mine we're going to have a bunch of like beaches and i'll probably use the supply ship a couple times to get uh like a blockade or some or like trade ships coming in and out of different types uh this place looks good for the town hall so the best way to put down buildings is to right click and then up here you can select what you want to actually build so i want to start the town hall now, I'll show off the different uh, buildings. Let me get to the front. So you can see the different types. So this is obviously the acacia. There's the... Uh, let me rotate this so I can see the front. This is the Asian. Um, you can also view what le they look like at each level. So that's level 2. This is the maximum level. The Asian stuff's huge. Um... That way you can at least uh, place it because as you can see, level 1 just has it this big. Level 5 completely fills the uh, square. Um, so Acacia, level 1, level 5 Acacia. It's a much smaller but longer structure. Um, you can phase into this because it's not actual blocks. It's just this is what Structurize is used for. So you can see it like what different blocks are put in or the decorations and where these will be put is very very important because uh, there are some structures that put them lower and if you try to put them in the ground say you're putting them in a hill which is why I flattened all this um, it'll be in there and you won't be able to start the construction until you find it 
Uh, so birch level one. This is a longer structure. Like it's a much longer structure. And level five. It's similar to Caledonia. Um, and at least the designing. But this focuses purely on like even this flag looks like a birch tree. Um, some of the decor is a little more modern. As you see, it uses some bricks that are going to be relatively difficult to obtain. Um, this is actual Caledonia. So this is the town hall. It's a pretty simple town hall. Uh, this is usually what a lot of people will use to build because it's a castle-esque. Um, so you have your big watch clock tower with... This is... There we go. That's why it was a little low for me. Let me check level one. Just yeah. So this is level one. Level two. When we upgrade it, it'll become kind of looking this in looking thing. Level three gets more details. Four and five. Right. Um. Dark oak. So dark oak is based on like a dark oak forest. If you're in the dark oak forest, and uh. There we go. So put that down there. So as you can see, it looks like a dark oak tree that's actually grown. And this is just level one. Level five, it grows upwards. Kind of has the same birch tree design up there. Um, and the the thing with dark oak is they all connect via this. Kind of like a jungle village you would expect to have. Um, the fortress. Ooh. There we go. So this is the fortress. It basically has some um, Oh. So the fortress, apparently this wall, you're like supposed to put the block here or oh, phantoms. Anyways, you're probably supposed to put like the block here or right on the other side where it's suggesting. That way the walls work best. There we go. Finally hit one. It's getting a little laggy with the hits with this thing. I'm getting a wait for server. There you are. Woohoo! Oh my. My hearts just jumped by five, I think. Oh well. Um, but yeah, it looks like that this may have, uh, like, progression through it. Level five. There we go. As you can see, it's a massive, massive fortress that's actually designed to, like, interconnect and everything. So it's near impenetrable. Oh. Um, some of the achievements, I had accidentally, doing some setup stuff, I accidentally got rid of all my achievements and then accidentally gave myself all the achievements. And so then I had to undo that again. But, oh, I'm going to have to go to bed or I'm never going to get this done. So we're going to cancel this, teleport here, and go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I've been sitting on here, I was playing a different game and just had this running in the background so I could get plenty of EMC for these, um, which led me to the 6 million... EMC here so I can make all this dark matter red mire stuff um, a really nice trick for making all of this stuff is make all the dark matter stuff then put it in then just grab like the one dark matter thing and then the red matter and once you make the red matter tool put it back in here and you can get more red matter because um, you're just recycling your EMC basically um, actually let's teleport back over there uh, yeah, here. Boop. Uh, that's the village. town hall. We were so the Incan. The Incan is 
um, a little weird in my take in my to me in the sense of how it's built, but like it uses a lot of this the clay stuff and red sand, and it, that's really hard to actually. It'll, actually, it might not be too hard to get. Oh, it's lowered for some reason. Let's back up. There you go. Level one probably looks. There you go. That looks better and more Incan esque. There we go. Like an Incan temple or something. And level five, it grows to be much bigger. But it uses a lot of this hard stuff, which we can find over there. The hard clay, hardened clay. Um, but I prefer. There's the jungle, which definitely does the whole uh, jungle. Uh, floating or a uh, walkway city level five town hall built into the trees type of deal lost city now I haven't actually so those are all placeholder blocks by the way so the so it's like replacing a bunch of those blocks for some reason and this I think this is based on the these black uh the black stone it's kind of an Asian accent. Yeah, it's very black stone and gold. So this is kind of your one of your nether options. Uh, like the Bastion. Uh, your medieval. So your medieval has several forms. Uh, let me see, make sure I raise that up. So your medieval has several forms. Uh, everywhere from. You have like four. All the different wood types. Medieval birch. Medieval dark oak. Um. You have your oak and your spruce, which those are relatively, the regular medieval will relatively be the same looking uh, structures throughout. Um, I don't know why dark oak is got all of those. It's a little different, that's why. So this is your dark oak. And then if we level five them, You'll see that it incorporates a lot more bricks into the design. Uh, let's see, medieval birch, medieval oak, and medieval spruce are pretty much relatively the same. Dark oak is kind of the outlier for a lot of these because they went up. Um, you can also do alternative. So for the alternative for birch, it focuses more on... Uh, this is an andesite diorite instead of, and it's a more of a castle esque feel. feel. Uh, level one looks like that. Uh, the medieval dark oak alternative. Um, here we go. It's got this little structure over here, which I think is actually in the ground right now. Yeah, there we go. And it's kind of an open topped, uh, it's a little Viking esque with these little slats off the top. Um, if we go to level five, it's a full blown fortress. Um, which honestly, the dark oak, this kind of design, especially with the builders, I'll show you the builders in a little bit, but the dark oak uh, alternative is usually my favorite for port towns. Because it just, it matches uh, what you would think of a port town. Uh, medieval oak alternative is just your standard, kind of your fallen kingdom castle type of deal. And then your spruce alternative is a little more closer to the birch, but it has like spikier towers. Um, we will probably use the dark oak, like I said, because I prefer dark oak. It's going to require me to make a dark oak forest. Or a ton of stuff but so you can use these arrows to move it around as you need oh that's the new music uh, you want to make sure that so for example these path blocks come down and walk over to this if I raise it up one more these are placement blocks um, actually I think it may want it to be there yeah it wants it there so you're supposed to come up and like jump up there to walk up there.
This kind of reminds me of that, uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Gondor, or not Gondor, the Rohan's little thing with the pathway that he runs down when they light the beacons. Um, the other ones, you have your Nordic, um, which this is definitely your Viking type, the long houses. Uh, so this is level one, this is level five. It's got those cool spikes coming off the top of them. Uh, you have your sandstone, which is more of a desert-esque type. Um, so it kind of matches the desert uh, towns. Uh, these pillars are really cool. But then when you level 5, it becomes this fancy... Ooh, I about ran into that because I can't see that. Let's just rotate it. Yeah, here you go. This is what the back looks like. It looks like a kind of a um, Arabian, like Arabian Nights. Do, do, do. You have your stone. So this is just a uh, little rotated around. Very basic. And level 5. Um, this is your generic. This is what I would imagine would be in like a plains biome. Uh, da, da, da. And then you have your space wars. This one's a little... Weird. <laughs> um, yeah. This one's a little weird. It's like this is supposed to be in a hill type of deal. Or a artificial hill with stuff on top. And then you go to level 5. And it's Jabba the Hutt's palace, basically. Like, that's what this reminds me of, is Jabba's palace. With the little dome thing up there. Some kind of lever thing here that I don't know what it does. Never used it. But, actually, that might be just a Rancor Pit type deal. Thinking, Looking at it, it might be a Rancor Pit. Yeah, so this one's a little weird. I've never actually used it. Um, True Dwarven, on the other hand, this is your Mind Zamoria type. So you just have this basic level 1, level 5. It's this very squat style uh, fortress. Um, the Dwarven stuff does look really, really cool when you have everything warped. Now, this is usually what I use. Um, I go and get all the warp stuff, but it requires a lot of extra work that I probably won't do on stream. But it kind of does that whole four biomes thing, because you get your chorus fruit, you get your overworld, you get your nether, and then you get your desert. This is actually a desert, and then the nether. Um, and the insides actually look really cool, too. Um with different like showcases and stuff which is why i usually use it um the one downside though is this part you have to have so much nether rack for them to actually replace and it becomes a, 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 a it takes a long time and this is your standard wood and it's kind of like the stone but it's the wood version so we're going to use the medieval dark oak alternative because like i said this reminds me of a trade house the most uh i don't know what that i think is the ground level because there's an underground section too yeah then we'll need to back this up And then we're going to take it down to level one so we can see it just to make sure. Because, for example, this is not right. We need to erase it. No, I think that is right. No, because they're going to delete those blocks and make it in the ground. This is how it needs to be. And so when you're ready and to put it down, you click the check mark. And it'll place that block. Um, 
Now, mobs won't spawn here because I put all these torches everywhere. Thank goodness. Uh, they will spawn in there, though. So you got to be a little more careful. Uh, now that we actually have this done, we can put the builder down. Now, one big thing with this is you have to make sure that it doesn't actually overlap. And if you... Usually, this just pops up. Uh, oh, we have to actually create our colony. My bad. Create new colony. Voila. So that's put uh, the... This is how big this is going to be. So when I hold this up... I don't know why it's just showing a tier 5 instead of the tier 1. But that's so you know the size of it. And then you can plan paths. So this will always be empty. You'll want this blank and then this one because um, the fence literally shows up at this edge, right outside the edge block. Um, so depending on your the size of your one, two, three, then this one, yeah. The size of your roads that you're planning. Um, no, it's not that one. Yeah, it is. Tier 5, that's why I was looking for that. So this is the builders. So this should have 1, 2, 3, and then that row. Yeah, this is the builder. Um, it's got like the crane, and it kind of reminds me of like a little port uh, kind of storage thing. Um, and these will have to go everywhere, right? You have to have builders everywhere. Uh, to be able to fit one, two, three, four. So I need to move this over. One, two, three. One more. There we go. Uh, as for the position here, I'm probably going to leave it right there. Yeah. So we'll put this down. Uh, and the first thing you do is, so you'll come up to this, you'll right click it. So here's some of the quick guide, obviously. So this is basically telling you how to work this. Um, your pickup priority for like, if it has stuff or needs stuff, uh, the priority it is the build options for the building itself, manage workers, recall workers, uh, and you can name it. Um, so we're going to name this the town hall builder. Because this is going to be the town next to the town hall. Now it has a builder assigned to it, Isabel Cotton. Um, the minimum stock uh, we do not have uh, the correct building to be able to work this. Settings um, you could set the uh, fill block and whether they use shears on certain things or not. Recipes, so you could teach them per building, you could teach them certain recipes like taking bricks and making them brick blocks. So like nether bricks to nether brick block. Um, or, for example, making uh, sticks out of planks. Um, that Or one that's usually used here is torches. So you just give them coal and sticks and it'll, they'll be able to make torches. Uh, work orders, this will list all their different work orders, and what's, and then the required resources will tell you what resources are needed. Um, so we're going to go to build options. This is telling me exactly how many resources of all the different types we need. Um, yeah, and you can also assign the specific builder. So this is just to start it off, build building. Now one thing that comes with, so this is our town borders uh we have to build buildings out here to expand it further 